Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 vs 1 AI bot cast. We have got ourselves what should be a good one here today as it is two of the frequent flyers in the bot community and we're on the map Royal Blood of course the AI edition. Now, <laughs> I'll introduce Tier first, Tier T, one of my favorite bots. Uh, I believe it does, it is shown as Terran more often than Protoss, but there was a Protoss variant at one point. Uh, seems to be a very smart bot anyway. And then, oh gosh, it's been a while since I've cast it, so I can't remember. Uh, Eris? Iris? Eris. I'm going with Eris. <laughs> so, one of the Zerg bot monsters. There's a, there's a few Zerg bots that are just absolute beasts, and Eris is definitely one of them. And so, if you enjoy seeing beastly bots take each other on, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join the Discord, which is linked down below. If you're a bot author, send your replays into the sc2ai.net Discord, as uh, that's where I find all the replays I cast. And then consider becoming a YouTube member if you do want to support this content. And then before we get any further into this cast, just Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays everyone. And uh, yeah, perfect time for some StarCraft. So we see Eris going for a quick three hatcheries. The Beastly Zerg getting off to a Beastly Zerg macro start. All the while Tier T just going for a Reaper Expand, so sticking with the tried and true. Both of these bots going for a scout, although it looks like Tears was a little bit more in detail. Eris sent a drone out, but it did not go into the main base or anything of Tear. But still, good to see scouting out of both these bots. Speaks volumes to their development, as programming a bot to scout, programming it to react to the information that it finds, to even process that information, is a just a ginormous task so hats off to the developers and now we'll see how this uh this reaper engagement is going to go from tier coming on in with the reaper looking around looking around the queen's going to pop on out auto injects right away going behind this mineral line is it going to get a drone no it's just scouting out sees the spawning pool no roach horn that kind of thing so very very information oriented was that scout making sure there's no roach horn i suppose that kind of thing of course the roach horn could have been at the natural base but uh now we see tier just uh transferring scvs getting that command center up getting up a starport now no man what the problem with casting starcraft is that it makes you want to play starcraft and then all of, then all of a sudden your day is gone so <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, that could be what happens to me today. As uh, this thought, oh, such such a great game, and the fact that these bots are able to play it at such a high level is phenomenal. Looks like a third base is on the way for tier. Third fast thirds really seem to be the meta thing with the bots at the minute. Uh, I can't remember which bot it was I cast the previous game, but it it went for a fast third and uh, didn't really get punished too hard for it, I believe. So now we'll see. Liberator's on the way for Tyr. Going to be using that to harass. Just produce it Hellions, that kind of thing. And it did scout to make sure it was safe to go for this kind of build. It didn't really do any follow-up scouts, so it potentially would have been vulnerable to something later on. But anyway, still... Uh, Still a wise choice by Tyr, and I think just a wise choice in general. If you are a bot author, programming your bot to attack is just incredibly hard. For example, these these Hellions are engaging a queen. They don't know what's on the other side of this. It is messing with the drone mining a little. No, I don't know if it was actually that much, but they're actually going to win against these queens, it looks like, if they commit all the way. And looks like these Hellions are not going to kill the queens because the queens retreat. Nicely done by... Eris keeping those alive, and this is just one of those weird bot engagements. If those Hellions ha had known to dive, they would have got a lot more damage done, but there they go. They're actually at forcing drones to burrow. It's just so weird how the Hellions are like, yeah, let's just hang out at the natural, shoot the, shoot the building lair a little bit. 
So a little bit of a disruption as drones are forced to burrow. Eris, the fact that it has that tech is very important. However, Ling's just trickling on in into these Hellions. So these Hellions are getting more damage done than you'd expect. A lot of lost mining time here. Very important. I'm just going to turn down the volume a little teeny tiny bit. Actually, you know what? No, I'll turn it down on my end. There we go. That's a little bit better. And now we see there's a medivac coming to join up with us. There's one marine for it to heal. That's actually tanking quite a bit of damage. Working away on these queens. What a crazy attack by these Italians. Just engaging the queens head on. Eris not really prepared for such an odd time to attack. And now, let's see here. A mule not mining for tier. That's an interesting one. Uh, SCV is going to repair up these Hellions. Erisang tag. Ling harassment. We see a Liberator harassment in the main base. Going to kill off that queen. She does not burrow nor stay alive. So these drones have no choice but to hide out. Seems like tier's harassment has been pretty effective this game. Just the poking in the front worked out real well. Eris... Hit a nice timing against Eris, which the Zerg bot had not produced a lot of units. And Overseer's in the main base. All the while, Tyr is just starting to get up that bio production. So just going to be playing standard Terran bio, it looks like. Exciting to see. I love to see bots, bots play that style and then assess how well they do it. While this is going on, though, Eris seems to be mainly unfazed by all this harassment. However, its its main base is still not mining, so this is actually a pretty big hiccup. I say unfazed. It is getting up a fifth. It's getting up a sixth base now, actually, too. But it is just losing queens to this Liberator. It's losing eggs. So not a great... Not great at dealing with this for Eris, it seems. Uh, maybe not grouping of queens enough, that kind of thing. These drones wisely are staying burrowed. Uh, at this point, though, it would be better, like, yeah, I guess Eris needs a spore or something to deal with this harassment. Uh, that, that's a big hurt for Eris, as it's lost pretty much all of its queens. It is sending the other queens over to deal with this harassment, and they will deal with it in the next queen that gets in there, I think, but this is, this is a lot of damage done by one Liberator. Really gonna be slowing down the Zerg bot. It's 73 drones, but there's been, like, 20... Yeah, about 20 that have been completely just caught. Not doing anything. There we go. They're finally set free, but that was some massive damage. Just bought things. We see Eris having a hatred for rocks as it broke down those ones. It's now working on these ones. Although all tiers just powering up, doubling the supply of the Zerg. And if Tier shows some killer's instinct, I think things could be a little bit worrying for Eris. As uh, this Terran bot looks like it may be aiming to move on out and... That's quite concerning for the Zerg bot. The d economic damage that Eris has taken in this game could leave it really vulnerable to an attack. Now, we'll see how well the attack actually gets executed by Tyr, but it's going to be going for it, moving out with its big red blob. Eris is going to be in trouble, it looks like. Ling's charging on in into Hellbats, into Marines. Those Hellbats are actually going to tank very nicely for these Marines. The tanks are getting sieged up. There is some medivacs out. They're not actually with the army. They're kind of with this second portion of the army. But I'm not sure it matters too much as long as these tanks stay sieged for tier. This six base is going to go down. It looks like Queen's dying, Roach is dying. The majority of the army for Eris is dying. The rest of the Terrans getting set up at the natural here. Scans going down to ensure those Roaches die. The tanks are sieging. That's going to start popping these Roaches. They may have gone a little bit too deep without the support, but here's the rest of the Marines coming on in. And I'm really not seeing a way that Eris is going to be able to deal with this. Drones are already burrowing at the naturals, just producing roaches. 1-1 one, one is not yet done for the Zerg, whereas 1-1 one, one is done for the Terran. And Tyr's attack on the back of that harassment has just been huge. Uh, so, like, the lair is now gone, the 6 is gone. I mean, Eris still has plenty of bases, and is a macro beast, so I believe it can come back if it can clean this up. We'll see the roaches burrowing, engaging, burrowing, retreating, getting on top of one of those tanks, but not killing it off, and there's just so much bio. We'll see how long Tyr gets caught up. 
but if it gets to the main base, that's going to be very problematic. The Roach Horn is there, the Hydra Den is there, a Roach pops out, but that is that is a rough berth right there, popping out as a Roach to that many Marines on your doorstep. And, uh, yeah, looks like this main base will be compromised. I mean, Eris still has a lot of drones out. A lot of them are burrowed at the natural base, now burrowed in the main base. There has been a decent number of roaches that have grouped up, but they're unfortunately grouped up on a ramp with a tank on the top of it, so they just get melted. We see Tyr now making a raven. There has been some counterling harassment going down, but I don't know how many SCVs have died. Actual phenomenal SCV control, pulling back the injured ones, was Tyr. There's a fourth base on the way for Tyr, so Tyr not, I mean, 1030 getting up that fourth. Not the quickest in the world, but when you're doing this much damage, I guess it doesn't really matter, and... I think that's just going to be it. A solid push from Tyr. Eris is is a fighter, so it will keep trying to trying to recover, which is a very impressive thing for a bot to do. Rebuilding the Roach Warren, rebuilding the Lair, a lot of redundancy in the bot, which is good to see. Roach is still fighting, but it's 20 supply versus 100. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this one, ladies and gentlemen, Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, join the Discord, which is linked down below. Consider becoming a YouTube member if you do want to support the channel, and if you do enjoy these bot videos, leave a comment down below that says more bots, and I will try to oblige as uh, we watch Eris get cleaned on up. But yeah, you really gotta give it to Eris, it's still making a few roaches, their engagement there, they kind of just ran on in and died. But uh, it's still trying. That's the impressive thing. Getting up a new spawning pool, still macroing up. I really do like the redundancy in the spot. And, oh, okay, I was going to say is Tyr going home, but no. This base will perish. There's a raven, so the burrowed units are definitely not safe. More bases going up for Tyr. Tier's expansions are a little bit slow. That's the one thing I've noted. Compared to other bots, I'm not going to say whether that's a good or a bad thing, just an observation. There we go, getting up some more. Eris really being the unkillable Zerg. <laughs> just say, oh, I lost that base. I better start rebuilding over here. Hopefully Tyr is going to give me a break, but unfortunately Tyr is not going to do so. Eris trying to get up more hatcheries. Really got to give it to the bot for just not dying, even when it's dying. Making some hydras, but they all die. Yeah. There's all the drones dying, finally. Well, they're actually going to stay alive. Is <laughs> where they go? <laughs> okay, they build another hatchery. Start again. Eris is a very resilient Zerg. But that'll be that. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I'll see you next time.